Welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we're going to be looking at how you fixed the worst floor plan ever. So about one month ago, I built this. Uh, it is the worst floor plan based design ever. I mean, it's literally a box and then inside makes like no sense. We have a look at it. The door is here, the stairs there, there's a sunken living room, an open bedroom, some random bathroom, another bedroom there. And upstairs just gets worse. Upstairs, uh, the stairs just come up here. There's this big long room here with just random tables, a few empty rooms, doors going to rooms with doors to other rooms and this weird bathroom with two toilets. <laughs> an additional sink around the corner in there. Uh, yeah, it's it's horrible. And I challenged you guys to fix it. Today we're gonna look at five pretty awesome designs that you guys have come up with. All right, first up we got Modern Big Family Home by Jackie So. I mean, already looking at this, you can tell it's miles, miles better than what I had. So the rules of the challenge were you could add, you know, stuff on the outside, but you could not change the exterior walls of the build. And I believe the interior walls so the layout of the walls had to stay the same, which as you can see, that looks like it's the same, but you could move, you know, doors and you can move stairs, all that kind of stuff just to make it work. Um, yeah, first of all, let's look at the outside. I mean, to be honest, if I didn't know this is based on that terrible house that I had built before, then I'd just say this is a pretty dang nice looking house. I mean, look out the back here. Like a really nice like barbecue area and outdoor dining. I've got this like little sunken workout zen area down here. I mean, that's actually just beautiful. <laughs> this is actually is really nice and a beautiful pool. I actually really, really like the use of the platforms here. They've got the stairs coming down. That is super nice. Oh, they've also used the Desert Lux windows to create almost like an extension on the house, like that doesn't count as changing the walls because they're just windows, but it does make it look bigger. All right, let's have a look on the inside, how they fix this layout. So they've got the same sort of entrance. Uh, my door was just about here, but I mean, just the aesthetic and design looks so beautiful. <laughs> it looks so much nicer. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, let's, let's jump into this. So look at this kitchen, beautiful, nice galley kitchen, lots of details there, really nice color actually. I like the cabinets up there. Coming through to the living area with a nice big floating TV cabinet, wall mounted TV, nice open doors to the balcony out the back there. So this used to be a sunken living room, so they've changed it, which is fine. Uh, and they've added a door to the outside, which I think makes a lot of sense. Now here as well, uh, this door on the left, this this one here, <laughs> this was an open wall before, but I did say you could add a wall there. So that makes a lot more sense too. So we've got a nice dining area through here. Uh, and yeah, just I think this looks and flows a heck of a lot better. So let's have a look into the first room here. This used to be a double bedroom, well, bedroom. This is still a nice bedroom by the looks of it. I actually really like that a lot of the items in this house are sort of placed on more angles. It kind of makes it all feel a little bit more dynamic and a bit more lived in. Oh, they've used like a little archway here, which I guess was probably like supposed to be a closet. Use it as like a little desk area. And then there is a little wardrobe on the other side. That's actually really nice. <laughs> that actually looks really nice. A lot better than uh, what was in the original. Now here was kind of like, I think, what, just two weird rooms, right? So this one is a bathroom, which definitely is a functional bathroom now. Nice shower. I, yeah, I really like the the colors and the, the textures used in this house. Like everything looks really nice. This feels really classy. And then back through over this way, through this first door, which used to be a weird bedroom as well. Uh, it's still a bedroom, but no longer weird. It is actually just kind of beautiful. And even looks like custom like paintings on the wall, right? They're not something I can just get, right? I think, yeah, these are painted by a sim, but you can sort of cheat the game in a way to make like custom paintings without it counting as custom content. So that's a really clever way of doing that. Um, yeah, really nice little room there. So let's go ahead and head upstairs. We had that huge weird living space here, which now is like an actual living space. So let's have a look. It looks very artsy in here is what I'll say. We've got a microphone there, Murphy bed there. So if you have guests <laughs> and then we've got a nice little piano, guitar, kids play corner. Uh, yeah, very definitely artsy people live here by the looks of it. And in this room we have, ooh, a little play nook. We've got the play tent. Wow, actually, yeah, that has this room has like a big skylight in it. Just really nice. I've used the glass roof there to get a bunch of natural light coming in. That is actually super nice. And then through here is the toddler's room, double toddler's room. Okay, this is a, this would actually be a really cool bedroom. That is beautiful. <laughs> All right, then back through the living area into here. This used to be the bathroom with two toilets. Have they kept the two toilets? No, 
Oh, well, maybe I can't see yet, but we've got a laundry there. We've got a sink and we've got a bathtub in this area. Then through here is just a shower. Okay, so I think they must have put toilets in a different room. So this is a shower, bath, and a little laundry space, which leads me to believe maybe over here this door is going to be the bathroom. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that's actually usable <laughs> in gameplay. Hang on. I, like, I don't know if they can use that. I don't know if they can. That's great. But uh, yeah, that's tucked away in there. And then we have the final bedroom. Let's jump through here. Nice little working desk there, and we have the double bed in here. Again, the nice glass skylight up there too, which is really nice. Oh, there's a door here. Where does this go? Yeah, this, <laughs> this layout of this house is just so weird. There's just doors everywhere. So they've got like a nice walk-in wardrobe and bathroom through there, which is actually pretty great. So that looks like that is the first uh, house we've got here. I mean, this, this is beautiful. This, is, this legitimately could just be a house that you built without this stupid floor plan, so... You've done a pretty incredible job there. It's got a nice little bike there on the balcony. Yeah, pretty incredible job there. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. We've got Oasis Paradise Mansion by Ray Neff 4, I'm gonna say. Uh, something I try to do with all these builds is pick ones that are all different styles. And yeah, this is completely different uh, to the last one. It's actually on a 50 by 50 lot. And here we are. I mean, <laughs> again, same as the last house, it just looks really beautiful. I mean, look at this pool here as well. Like a pool, they've done like a little waterfall effect there. This huge like pond out the back. I mean, this is just like a beautiful oasis, as they called it, Oasis Paradise Mansion. And we've got, oh, that's actually really cool. I got like, a little sunken hot tub there. You go down the stairs, jump in the tub. Beautiful outdoor entertaining area, much like the last house. And again, really good uses of all these different platform heights going on here. I love that. It makes it feel like way more organic. I know organic is a weird word to use, but you know, like it's sort of following the landscape it almost feels like. And the actual, the look of this house, I mean, it looks so cool. Like this looks incredible. Not, nothing I've ever built has looked like this, like in this style. And I think this is great. So let's go ahead. Again, this one's using a lot of the Desert Oasis kit. I guess it probably had just come out around the time we did this challenge. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go in. This is the living area. So they've moved the stairs over there, rotated them. Ooh, they've turned the uh, original bedroom, which was over here, into a kitchen area. And actually, really interestingly, got a couple steps down. Again, I really like the use of different heights in this area. This kitchen is pretty sweet. And then just to the left of it, we've got a sunken living room, which you go down three steps instead of two. Wow, I love those little alcoves there with the plants in it. So those, if you remember in the last house, they used that for the wardrobe and the desk. In this house, they're using it in the dining room for a little alcove to put plants in. This is so awesome to see the creativity that people have. And then this steps outside. I mean, that that is paradise. I mean, that looks beautiful. Wow, <laughs> that's so cool. All right, let's go ahead and head into this room here. What's behind door number one? We've got a beautiful bathroom, very nice little toilet. Sink, mirror, beautifully decorated. And then I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is probably one of the bedrooms. Let's have a look. Uh, no, it's actually an office. Okay, maybe I shouldn't guess. That's probably silly of me. <laughs> Little uh, chest table, bookcase, and office desk. This is really quite something to behold. I love the look of this build. All right, let's go ahead, head upstairs. Even this little uh, uh, stairway here, beautifully done. Actually, that concrete wall pattern from Desert Lux here looks great. So through here is a large living area, huge couch, nice big TV there. And we actually have a front balcony with yoga mats on it. So you can do a bit of yoga out here, very peaceful. And then back through this way. So this is where we used to have bathrooms, which is now actually turned into a little hallway. It's been opened up a bit more. Got a wardrobe there, a little plant alcove there. And through this door, ooh, a little kid's room. Really, really nice. And then through this door looks like a double bedroom. Oh yeah. Wow, I love the, the colors and patterns in this house. It is so fun. It looks so beautiful. And then they also have a nice bathroom in here. Nice ensuite. Again, using the uh, little platform height differences. I think that makes such a big difference. And then back through the living area, down this way. Oh, they've also done a skylight. That's really nice. So a little creative corner there too. So let's have a look overall so we can get a good feel of the place. So yeah, we've got the kitchen there. Those are the wardrobes. Dining area, nice living space, office and a bathroom. And then upstairs we've got, oh, actually I missed this bathroom. Sorry, it's hidden around that little corner there. Similar to the other bathroom, but a nice big tub in there. And then, yeah, we've got two bedrooms just there. 
bathroom and a living space. Oh, the bubble blowers around the corner. Sorry, I missed that too. And a telescope. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is pretty, pretty awesome. This is a fantastic job. Let's go ahead and check out the next build. Well, this next one, we're heading off to the countryside. This is Fix This AI Floor Plan. I, I guess no custom title, but that's okay. By Cookie Crumb. A beautiful looking cottage living style home. Let's jump into it. So here we are in Henford on Bagley. I mean, the detail in these houses that you guys build is just incredible. It's just next level. I mean, look at this. If we went into live mode, actually, all of this would come to life. Like, look how many animal spawners are in here. There'd be so many bugs and ducks and all that. It'd be just so nice. I, and I love the outside as well, that the house has been raised up onto this hill in the middle. Um, and we got this little carport area through here. Even all this stuff in the back of this truck has been added in, just to give you a little context. I mean, they've put all this stuff in there. Uh, <laughs> got a little carport. Around the back, we've got a beautiful animal shelter just there. Oh, look at this kid's area. This, oh my gosh. Oh, this is what I want to do in my house on my Let's Play now. This looks great. Isn't this tent and then having like all the toys inside of it? Let's go, hang on, we gotta go to nighttime and check this out. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. And that little fire pit there. Uh, we've got a monkey bar, some swings. Oh, look at those lights as well across here. Is this part of the tree? No, that's just a separate one they've put up. Oh, and these are just hung in the tree. Wait, did those light up? <gasps> that is so cool. <laughs> oh, and even these ones. These are just items that they place there. That's so, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys do some incredible stuff. I, I'm always blown away. So let's have a look around here as well. We've got a little garden patch back there. The tree with a couple of like bee hives just there or insect. Not beehives, the insect uh, houses. Old tractor, the washing line, got some chicken coops around the side. I mean, look at this terrain paint detail as well on the ground. Really, really good. Old barbecue area. Um, and then, yeah, the actual house itself looks uh, about a million times better than the original build. I mean, I don't know if we need to look at the original house again, because all three so far that we've seen that you guys have done are just a so much better. All right, let's have a look inside. Okay, yeah, we got we got the cottage aesthetic going in full swing here. It's gonna get a good overview so we can see it all. And then let's have a little bit of a closer look. All right, so jumping inside the front door. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's just so much detail. It's like cluttered, but in a really good way. Like this is like, they've like lived here for years and years and it's just all sort of come together. I mean, this living space is so cozy, but also open. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's like cozy, but very open plan. Like maybe they've renovated the house, removed a wall or something to open up this kitchen. Uh, I mean, I, I love, again, I love seeing these houses because they're all so different. The styles between each three so far is just wildly different and it's so creative. So we've got a beautiful little dining area through here. And then there is a little door hiding here. What's this? Oh, little, uh, oh, it's like a, what do you call it? A boot room. So you come in from outside working on the farm, take your shoes off, make sure you put all your stuff back down, come in the house, hopefully a little bit cleaner. And then so through this way, go through this door and we've got a nice little bathroom. Kind of hard to see some of these rooms because it's, they're quite small. I'm trying my best here, but nice and blue. And then next to it behind the stairs, let's just go through here. Oh yeah, beautiful kids room lacking. Oh yeah, Batu. yeah, sweet. <laughs> And yeah, this nice kids room. Really cool. All right, let's head upstairs. All right, so we're gonna go up the stairs just here, pop up into this little hallway. So this hallway is in the same position as the original. Uh, let's go through this door first because I missed this last time. So this is a kids room by the looks of it. I mean, I just, I don't, I don't know what to say besides these things look so good. <laughs> and whoa, this kid has like a whole bonus room. Like of all their creative endeavors, they can do painting, singing, guitar, violin. Dang, this, maybe this is like a really gifted child. <laughs> they have like a secret paint room in there. All right, and then back through here, get a nice open living space, a little bit more modern than the downstairs. So maybe like they sort of renovated the upstairs or something to a more modern living space. A little kid's corner over there. Through this door, we have another bathroom. Oh, there's another door. Oh yeah, because before that's where the sink used to be. What's in here now? In here now, oh, there's a toilet. Okay, so there's a special toilet room, which makes sense. So someone can go to the toilet and someone else could come in here and wash their hands or do whatever, you know, that's good. And then back through this way, we have, whoa, nice big double bedroom, little sort of sitting area in the entrance here. You can have a little parents retreat and back through there. Oh, cat tree, yeah. And then the double bedroom there. I mean, absolutely beautifully done. I mean, look at this over, like overview of it. I don't know, it just feels so full and so lively. We've also got this little sunroom off to the side, which is actually, that's pretty smart. I was gonna say, you're not supposed to add walls, but they didn't. 
There's no walls here, they just added windows. Like, so there's no wall, just a window sitting there, same with the door. Technically, they didn't add anything, so that's pretty impressive. Well done, well done, this is amazing. I love this one. All right, let's see what kind of style we get in the next one. We've got Cluttered Fall Home by Flip Flop 98. I thought this was a great almost craftsman style of home. It looks beautifully detailed and looks a hundred times better once again than the original build. So I'm excited to check this out. Alrighty, here we are again. Beautiful like terrain paint work. I don't know, it just makes, it adds so much detail and loads of like landscaping around the house as well. All these shrubs and bushes, I think add just a really nice vibrant pop to the whole build. You know, it looks a lot more rooted in where it's been, like it's been here a long time, all that stuff's been growing. Nice outdoor living space here. Look at this fireplace just here too. That'd be so cozy and so warm, like to hang out on a cold night and a little fire pit there as well. They did add some walls here, but I mean, it's not technically inside, so I mean, whatever. Um, so there's like a little outdoor undercover area, table, uh, was that florist table? Is that what that is? Yeah, the flower arranging table, some planters, little chicken coop over there as well. So let's go have a look at the layout overall inside. Oh, they've moved the stairs to the left in this one. Interesting. And then they've got, they've got a couple steps going up, then it turns. Interesting. Kitchen just over there. Got a little office, a bedroom, and a bathroom. All right, and then upstairs we've got the living space still over here. And we've got a nice twin bedroom through there. Family bathroom there and then the main bedroom through that way. So let's go have a little bit of a closer look so we can appreciate all the details. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this immediately. So this was called the full family home or full something. Sorry, full home. So, you know, we've got all those autumnal vibes, very almost ready for the cozy winter autumn, which we don't experience here in the Southern Hemisphere. It actually gets a lot warmer down here. <laughs> but in the Northern Hemisphere, it'd be cooling down. Almost looks like getting ready for Thanksgiving kind of in here. Very, very nice. So through to the kitchen as well. I, I do like and like the last house as well. Got this sort of open kitchen area. And again, I've got the step down, which was originally there in the build. So that's been utilized nicely to separate the kitchen off. Um, and we've got this beautiful cottage living style kitchen through there. And then so through these rooms, we have the office. Here we go. I've noticed a lot of these homes. I don't know if it's because the floor plan is so wacky, but a lot of these homes have sort of gone for the angle of the person being creative. Like, have you noticed that? We've got the, the easel. We've got the sort of drawings and stuff on the wall. We've got all <laughs> the, the canvases down on the ground. Is it because the house is just so wacky? They couldn't imagine someone not creative living here. <laughs> now here's the bathroom. Oh, this actually looks really nice. I wouldn't mind taking a bathroom break in there. <laughs> That's great. And then through the other side, we had the, what was in here again? A little bedroom as well. Double bedroom, nice and cozy. Very, very nice. Nice curtains there too. Uh, and then let's go ahead and up, go upstairs. So we've got the big long living room, which I think has been utilized pretty well. Ooh, they've got the old style TV, beautiful. Yeah, I think this has been utilized pretty well. A lot of people are using this little corner nook at the end for the kids area, which I think makes sense too, because again, it's just kind of weird. So might as well use it for that. Let's head down the other end, see how this room turned. Actually, let's check out here. Nice little balcony. No Ooh, look at all this. Cozy, very nice. Uh, so through here, we've got the twin bedroom. So we've got a little desk, a dresser in here, a mirror, a toy, a couple beds down the end. That's a really nice use of space. So this used to be where the stairs were in the original house, which terrible spot for them. So I'm glad they were moved. And then through here, I believe was the bathroom. This is sort of shared bathroom, nice bathtub. And around the corner, I guess is a shower. Yep, shower through there. I do like how different this is to the one downstairs too. Like got the green instead of the blue vibes. And then we have the main bedroom, through here, little desk area. Oh, they've got their own balcony too. And the double bed through here, got the green, got some pumpkin decoration going on. Through here, we've got the bathroom. Oh, look at that bathtub. I love that angle on it too. The double sinks and a balcony from the bathroom too. Oh my gosh, you could have like such a luxury like spa experience, come out here, hang out on the balcony. And so the parents get both balconies up here. They get that one and this one out the back, the own chess table. I mean, there is a balcony out the front too, but that is pretty awesome. So yeah, that is the what, cluttered fall home. That's what it was called. Yeah, beautiful job. I love again how different this is to the previous ones. I can't wait to see what the final house has in store. All right, last but certainly not least, uh, this unnamed home also called Fix This AI Floor Plan by P. Zige 98 Sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, 
looks like some sort of Lost City of Atlanta style of build. I don't know, it looks pretty incredible. Oh, here we go. This is an abandoned palace that was once sunken in the sea and has now been unearthed. It has some decay since being underwater and some seaweed still hangs about in some rooms. Tried to do a balance of abandoned while still having a fully functional house. Again, picked this because it was just so different from all the others. I mean, look at this place. I love using this lot in Solani with the water and the house is just sort of sitting in the water. Even though the stairs kind of come down to the water here, but you assume you can still walk along there. And oh, look at these curved balconies out the front here too. I love that usage of it. Around the side. Oh my gosh. This is just so cool. Like you could play out like an awesome story here. I mean, you gotta be a mermaid living here, right? If you're gonna live here, you gotta be a mermaid. <laughs> this would be perfect for it. So we've got, oh, I love use the utilization of the shallow water to play stuff in. I think, so it is using move objects, but I'm pretty sure Sims can walk around in that. Uh, I mean, I'd have to test it. I don't remember fully, but I think it would be functional. All right, let's have a look inside this build. I'm excited to see how it turned out. <laughs> I like how it's this beautiful glass door. Like, I guess maybe they unearthed this abandoned or this long lost palace. And then they're like, let's put new doors on. <laughs> so let's go inside here. Oh yeah, here we go. So we got a bunch of like overgrowth. Like I guess there's supposed to be weeds hanging around, lots of cracks, but you know, some pretty nice furniture. I guess whoever moved in here refurnished the place. So a little dining area there. Here's our kitchen around this corner. Ooh, they've used the old wardrobe space for a couple more counters in there. Nice little kitchen tucked through there. And I do really like the dining area here that opens out onto the water and like this sort of flooded area just out there. That looks so great. And then back through this way, we've got a couple of doors. Let's have a look through this first one. We've got a nice little bathroom in here. Totally functional, very nice. You could live in this abandoned, unearthed palace. So that is good. And then through here we have a little bedroom. Ooh, with a door to the outside as well. So this goes to which balcony? This little balcony around the side. And you can go, I think, down those. I know that's an object. I don't know if the sim would be able to get down there. Probably not actually. That's okay though. All right, back inside, we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs. See what's going on up here on the top level of the palace. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this has been turned into more of a hallway rather than a living space, which I think given the context of this build kind of makes sense. So through here, oh yes, artistic person. Has every single one of these houses had, had an easel? I think that they have, right? And then we've got a bedroom in here. Very nice. Very nice. Lots of cracks everywhere. <laughs> and then next to that, we've got a little bathroom and a shower in there. I love that little uh, shower nook. I think that's a really cool, nice bathroom. And back through here. Oh, look at all the books just strewn across the floor too. <laughs> There's a sort of being left there. Around the back. Oh, wow. Look how open this is. I actually really like this vibe. It feels really airy. And I feel like it makes a lot of sense too. So back through this door, we have another little bed. Oh, that's cool. Another little bedroom. And I think that is the, unless I missed a room because this floor plan that I built is terrible. Uh, no, that's all that stuff there. But yeah, that came together so nicely. That is so much fun. <laughs> that is so great. I love this one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at some of the entries that you guys made for the worst floor plan ever challenge. They were all honestly incredible and so, so different. And if you want to download any of the ones I showed in the video, I will have them all linked in the description down below so you can check them out there. But yeah, I'm constantly blown away by how creative you guys are and how different every one of these builds was in style, location, size. Like, I mean, it is just incredible what you guys come up with. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.